You know when a doctor tells you Allahu Akbar and I've given this example before when a man's heart suddenly fails and he gets a pain and he drops then they pick him up and take him to the hospital and the doctor says you know what you got to give up smoking Wallahi nine times out of ten if not ten he gives it up why one doctor told him that one doctor but for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how many of us are ready today to say this habit is out? There we are. How many? Allahu Akbar. Are we waiting for a little heart attack before we can give up a bad habit? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, no, don't wait for that. I give you good health. But whilst you're in good health, leave that. Allahu Akbar. This is why we say some people turn away from Allah. They don't want to worship Allah, neither in Ramadan nor outside the month of Ramadan. So what Allah does for them, he gives them a favor. What is that favor? He makes them sick and ill to the degree that the doctors cannot help them. So what do they have to do? They are forced, forced literally to say, Ya Allah, for the first time in their lives, raising their hands and coming salah early, mashallah. That is cheap. Wallahi, cheap meaning we, we are still fortunate that we haven't died before we raised our hands to Allah. But the question I have, should we wait for something to happen to us before we're going to raise our hands? This is why Allah says, be thankful, be grateful, recognize the devil and know about him before he even comes in your direction so that you will know how he tries and distract you. Ask those who've committed adultery all their lives. What have they achieved by it? Ask those who have sinned all their lives gambling. What have they achieved by it? Ask those who have sinned all their lives by stealing, cheating, conning, deceiving, by engaging in all sorts of other sins, whether it is drugs and alcohol. What did they achieve by it? They achieved what? Momentary joy. Is that what they got? And now, if Allah has mercy on you, He will grant you a chance to say, Ya Allah, forgive me. Never again will I do this.